Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, July 15, 2013. A major typhoon called Typhoon Sulik is threatening eastern China today. It ran over Taiwan over the weekend. It uh, hit Taiwan with winds of about 100 miles per hour. It caused the uh, cancellation of about uh, 350 flights coming out of Taipei Airport. It uh, tore roofs from homes and triggered landslides that blocked roads, major highways. Uh, there were approximately four deaths at this time in Taiwan. The storm is now lashing eastern China with winds of about 800, uh, excuse me, 85 miles per hour. Some 5,500 soldiers have been mobilized. Uh, 350 ships have been recalled into the uh, port of Ningde. Uh, Ningde is being uh, lashed right now with 27 foot high waves. Approximately 18 to 25 centimeters of rain are expected to be dumped over parts of eastern China in the next 24 hours. Meanwhile, in London, uh, British regulators are saying that they see no direct linkage to the lithium battery problems of the Boeing 787 to that fire in the rear of the Ethiopian Airlines 777, excuse me, 787 on Friday. Um, the British are saying that the uh, the linkage apparently uh, is still going to be investigated. It will take several more days until the information comes out. Uh, Boeing stock dropped uh, to its biggest drop in uh, one year, excuse me, in two years on Friday uh, over concerns that in fact the lithium ion battery fix the company had implemented earlier this year might not be working. Uh, the Dreamliner had been parked for hours before the fire. It sustained, uh, sustained extensive heat damage in the rear of the plane. Uh, there is some speculation now that regardless of whatever the cause is, because of the uh, plastic composite nature of the plane, the industry is going to be watching very closely to see how this is repaired. There is charring on the rear fuselage. If it was an uh, aluminum alloy fuselage, the method of fixing that is relatively straightforward. But now with the resin composites that they're using, uh, there's going to be intense anticipation as to how in fact that's fixed. There's also a concern that regulators could order a uh, uh, plane-wide review of the electrical system, which would not be good news for Boeing. Here in the New York City area, the uh, tri-state area is bracing for a major heat wave. The heat index today is expected to be 102, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday may be as high as 105 to 107 degrees. Um, there's a huge high pressure system that's settled in from Boston all the way down to Washington, D.C. over the American Northeastern area. Uh, it's a life-threatening kind of situation. Public authorities are advising people to stay indoors between 1 and 6 p.m. <clears throat> Meanwhile, on Friday afternoon at rush hour, coming out of the uh, Gare de Austerlitz, a uh, French intercity train derailed, ending up killing about uh, exactly six people, as it turns out. The, plane had th uh, the train had 385 people on board and went off the track about uh, 15 miles south of Paris. It was traveling at a speed of 85 miles per hour. The crash raised a uh, bunch of concerns now from passenger groups who have been complaining vociferously over uh, the past several years that French railway funds have been going to maintaining the TGVs, the trade ground Vitesse trains, at the expense of the interurban and suburban lines. President Hollande announced on Sunday that his government had recently introduced measures to refocus funds on maintenance of the uh, traditional lines. At focus right now is a 22-pound metal plate that apparently uh, left its moorings, which were held in place by four bolts that caused the uh, train to uh, go off the track. Uh, the SNCF, Société Nationale de Chemin de Fer, the French train service, said that the metal plate had in fact been inspected as recently as July 4th. And here's a blast from the past. Um, hundreds of police officers from, from around Britain have been rushed to Northern Ireland. Yesterday, 400 were flown in because apparently uh, Protestant riots are occurring in Belfast. Police came under attack on Friday from petrol bombs, fireworks, stones and bottles and they responded with water cannon and tear gas during six hours of police battles. The protests have now gone on for two nights. One policeman was engulfed in flames when struck by a petrol bomb, but he was quickly extinguished by colleagues. 
Aon Benfield is reporting that the increasing popularity of insurance-linked securities has driven down the cost of reinsurance premium in some areas, specifically uh, property cat, uh, by 40% compared to last year. That's a very big number. Here's a very interesting story. The judge uh, who presided over most of the litigation stemming from the September 11 terrorist attacks is going to decide whether the owners of the World Trade Center can try to make aviation companies pay billions of dollars in damages. U.S. District Court Judge Alvin Hellerstein said he's going to announce his decision immediately after several days of hearings. Actually, they expect them to last three days. The trial is going to decide whether World Trade Center properties and its affiliates can receive more than the $4.9 billion they've received already from insurance claims. They claim it's cost them $7 billion plus to rebuild. Defendants in this instance uh, may include American Airlines, United Airlines, U.S. Airlines, Colgan Air, Boeing Air, and the Massachusetts Port Authority, among others. Theory would be that uh, they're going to be being sued because they were negligent in allowing terrorists to board the airplanes, overtake their crews before plunging those planes into the World Trade Center complex. Um, Hellerstein has already said that if he does allow the suit to go forward, the maximum that the World Trade Center owners could recover from the aviation defendants would be three and a half billion dollars. Talk about an overhanging liability, especially since United has since merged with Continental and American is merging now with U.S. Air. That's a pretty big disclosure to have on the SEC documents. We'll keep an eye on that one. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.